Hello and welcome to Coveo Bite Size Learnings. This video is part two of a five part series about sending custom analytics events and dimensions from the UI and then capturing and reporting on that information in Coveo's analytics dashboard. In part one, we gave a very brief overview of analytics in order to put this process in context. This is part two, where we'll write some code to allow our Coveo enabled pages to send custom events, each containing some custom dimensions out to our cloud usage analytics engine. Coveo bite size learnings are as short as they are sweet, so let's get started. By now, you've ideally taken our basic and intermediate analytics courses, and you've had a few discussions with your customer success manager, and you have a pretty good idea of what the out-of-the-box analytics will do for you. You may even have some ideas about custom events, which you may wish to create based on what you've learned from those classes and discussions. One custom event you may be thinking about is a case deflection event you might want to be able to capture that moment when someone finds an answer to a question for which they might otherwise have opened up a support case. The reason that this is a custom event is that different organizations have different case creation workflows, and thus different ways that they measure case deflection. For some clients, simply landing on a case creation page and then navigating away or closing the window is good enough. For others, the end user has to explicitly provide feedback that they intended to create a case but no longer need to. Your organization may be on one end of that spectrum, or the other, or somewhere in the middle. What we are going to do here is show how to send that sort of event via an explicit feedback action by the end user. And once you've decided how to define what a deflection is, you can use these techniques to make that decision a reality. So what I've done here is I've built a custom quick view for my knowledge articles. And in that quick view, I have put a few buttons which allow the reader to indicate if the article did not help if they learned something from it, or if it actually solved a problem. If an article did not help, we clearly can't count it as a case deflection. If it was educational, we might be able to think of it as a potential or future deflection heading off a case that might have come down the road. And finally, if it actually solved a problem, I feel pretty comfortable calling that an actual deflection. As you can see here, the buttons are configured to simply call my log deflection function with the appropriate qualifier. In my log deflection function, I take that qualifier and along with the event type of deflection, I send it off to a simple wrapper that structures the data it receives and sends it off to the JSUI's log custom event method. You don't have to use this wrapper, but I like it because it means I don't have to think about some of the nuts and bolts of the log custom event call when I'm building my custom event data. Now if I stop here, I'll just get a record of my deflections by type. And that could be somewhat interesting just for tracking trends but it doesn't give me much actionable insight, so I think I'd like to improve it a bit by sending the associated article number along with the transaction. Since I'm using an underscore template, this is easy. I just add an argument to the call, specifying the raw.articleNumber field, then update my log deflection function to handle that information and pass it along to my wrapper. And the wrapper takes care of the rest, sending the article number field as a custom dimension. Now, I've got a collection of data which in combination, allows me to not only spot trends, but identify actionable issues based on, for example, which articles are really well rated versus the ones which are not solving problems for people. I might even go further and capture the query that the end user made which brought them to a particular article. And I'll just do that for the articles which are not helpful. Without this, our business analysts might be able to look at the content of articles which are tagged as unhelpful and improve them. With this information, we can go a step further and identify if there's some optimization we can make on the search side to boost the relevance scores for more appropriate articles. So I update my log deflection function to capture the query from the Coveo state model and send that along with the article number as a custom dimension. Going into my search page and viewing a knowledge article with the browser developer tools enabled, I can see my custom events going out in the network tab. And if I drill down into them, I can see all of that information heading out towards the Coveo Cloud Usage Analytics Engine. So that's an illustration of how to send a custom event with custom dimension metadata. In part three, we'll expand on this example to show how to augment out-of-the-box events with custom dimension metadata. Then in part four, we'll show how to configure your custom dimensions on the analytics dashboard. Finally, in part five, we'll build a series of reports based on the information we're gonna be collecting. Thank you for watching this edition of Coveo Bite Size Learning. Please share this video with your team and subscribe to the Coveo Insights YouTube channel and our e-learning playlist in order to learn more about using the Coveo suite of relevance tools to make your business personal. 
For more in-depth training courses, including deeper dives on analytics and development topics, please visit www.coveo.com training.